Hey y'all, it's Krista. Um, so I don't have a cameraman, he's in bed. But this is the uh, almost finished piece. I have applied resin to the last piece that I did. All it needs is the clock parts. Um, those are being installed tomorrow and it will be delivered. Um, but this piece is um, for someone that has worked with my son for four years and um, she is ready to pop. She's looked like she has been ready to pop for about a month now. Um, she's having a baby boy, so I'm doing all blues and a bluish gray because, um, you know, this is our first boy and, you know, she wants to have his room fit who he is. So uh, the colors that I've used today are uh, Amsterdam's greenish blue, but I added some of the Golden's Payne's Gray to it, and it made a really nice color. I'm, I'm not disappointed by it. It's a, like a nice, deep, rich color. Um, I'm also using DecoArt Americana Decor Metallics in the Sterling Silver. This is the cell maker. Um, the other silver doesn't make the same cells. It kind of works like the uh, 24K. And I'm using Amsterdam Titanium White. And I'm also using an Amsterdam Grayish Blue in the acrylic inks. Love this. And you know that I'm a sucker for the Parage Posse paints. Um, the Fresh Powder Blue Iridescent Pearl. I have my own little private stock of it. Um, thanks to Kathy Carr and Christina Welch. Um, I will put the link to where to find these in the description box, but this one is discontinued and I'm lucky enough to still have some. So um, I love how it works with Amsterdam White when they're next to each other. So I like to make sure that um, I put them next to each other because the cell action is amazing. All right, so I've got my trusty cup and I think I'm going to start with um, the white. Just a little bit of it. And then I'm gonna put the Parage Posse. Yum! Look how yummy it is. It's so good. All right, I'm gonna put that next to that white because I like how they work together. And then I'm gonna use that greenish blue with uh, the Payne's Gray in it next to that. I'm gonna add a healthy dose of that. Um, this is a 20 by 20 uh, Artist Loft Gallery Wrap Canvas. I'll add the grayish blue. And then I'll add the Silva. Because she wanted gray, but I didn't want to use gray. I think the silver is just better. I'm going to lock that in with some of the white. Oh, a gooby just came out. I'm gonna pick it out while it's in the cup because no thank you, no thank you. I mean, if you see it come out of the cup, get it while you can, right? All right, pick that out. Let me put a little bit more white in. And then I'll put the Parage Posse in again. 
I'm gonna put a healthy dose of that because this is for baby boy Ace and he's gonna be the cutest. I already know. I'll add that greenish blue. I'll add a healthy dose of that too. And I'll use that grayish blue. And as you know, all of my paints are mixed with mix. Um, I'm pretty adamant about making sure that I always use mix because, you know, you've seen the videos, I've tried everything else, I'm just not happy when I use anything but it. So I'm gonna put some white and lock it in. And then I'm gonna put in the Courage Posse again. What a lovely color, so beautiful. All right, I'm gonna water that one down, so I'm done with that. My cup's almost full. I'm gonna end it with the greenish blue dark with that uh, golden Payne's gray in it. It just made it the right color, you know, like greenish blue is greenish blue, but you know, sometimes you want it to be <coughs> just a little bit darker. And I apologize for my coughing. Um, I'm still having the aftermath of my COVID. Um, I've got my drink over there in case I go into a coughing fit. Um, we're gonna water down the silver. Just a little bit, cause I'm gonna use it for my puddle. And I will put my email address in the bottom if you'd like to get mix. Um, it's been coming out very thick lately. So um, I've been having to add water, which you know what? That doesn't hurt my feelings either. The more the merrier, right? All right, so we're going to pour this in the middle. Now I'm just gonna empty this cup. Most of my cups are almost empty, which is good news for me because I never know what to do with my leftovers. You know, I've made paintings that I've used my leftovers, but because I use so many different consistencies, because I do so many different techniques, um, it's hard to remember what is what and what was made with what. So my consistencies are all different. I'm gonna torch that center because I got some bubbles in there. Um, all right, I'm thinking I'm going to want to wreck this, but you never know. <coughs> I may just want to let her fly. All right, we're all learning together. Let's do this. Squeeze my cup in. And I'm going to bring it a little out this way just to give it some interest because I think I am going to wreck this. And I'm going to bring my cup back to stop the flow and catch it. That was a terrible catch. Nah, they all can't be good, right? That's why you have a sticky stick. Okay, we're gonna fix this first. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna use my smack stick to wreck this. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to 
pull it through this way. I need a paper towel to wipe off my stick, my schmack stick. And then I think I'm gonna go through this way. Look how nice that is right there. And then I think I'm going to come in through here and bring it out that way. Oh, nothing on here is hurting my feelings. I'm getting cells, I'm doing all the things. All right. I think I'm gonna wreck this right here too. Why not, right? All right. And that is that. So, I can put my schmeck stick away. And let's make some flow extenders. Um, Let's get this grayish blue. We're gonna thin that down. And we're gonna pick a corner and put it on there. All right, we're gonna pick right here. And just empty the cup. Man, empty cups is my jam. Makes it easy cleanup, y'all. And I appreciate everybody's uh, well wishes on me getting better and, you know, COVID's like no joke. You can be vaccinated and have all the things and you still get it. So um, I hope everyone's out there being safe and careful and um, taking care of themselves because this is, it's not fun, y'all. Being sick is not fun. Put that fresh powder blue over here. Scrape that cup out. Yeah, so my son just celebrated his four year anniversary at his job. You know, for a, a 20 year old to have the same job for that long, um, good for you. You know what I mean? It was his first job and only job, and that's where he's at right now. And he loves his job. He loves who he works for. He loves who he works with. Um, so he stays. And the owner of the shop is a super sweetheart. And uh, I think that's why the person I'm doing this painting for has been there so long. She uh, has utmost respect for him. And, um, you know, he gave Alex's job back after he went through chemo. And, you know, when I was taking pizzas down to the uh, hospital for the staff, uh, he would give me a huge discount to do that, which, you know what? The staff appreciated it. There's another white gooby. What is going on with my white? I think my white has goobers in it. Look at that. My white has goobies. I don't want to have to strain my Amsterdam white. That's ridiculous. All right, so we're going to spread these out. Just spread them out, spread them out. Use my little omelet turner. It works great. Helps you butt up to the edge really nice. Oh, I need to butt it up. 
up to the edge there. Okay, spread that out. Okay. I know I'm using a puppy pad. It's because I was resining and um, when you, when I resin, I refuse to do it on my mat because it started making it yellow. Okay. <clears throat> this is for the bouncing baby boy. Let's tilt this out. I'm going to take it to the edge. And try not to go over. What am I doing over there? Just gonna twirl it around, see what it wants to do. Bring that back. It sounds weird when it's dripping on a puppy pad. I'm gonna take it off that corner because I like what it was, what was going on in that corner. And I knew when I saw it that I'd be able to pull it back and make awesome stuff happen. So I did that. And then I'm gonna bring it back from that one. Let me bring it back to the center. All right, then I'm gonna take it off this corner because it's ready to go. Oh my goodness, it's moving slow. My mix is kind of thick still. It's like the Mina version of mix. It's super thick. All right, I'm gonna bring it back here. And I'm gonna turn it around. So y'all can see what I'm doing. And I'm gonna take it off this corner. I feel like this is, oh, awesome. I like how that, what happened when it went over that corner. All right, I'm gonna bring it back to the center. Let's pull it out this way. We're gonna reposition some stuff. You know, I'm really weird about having armpits. And I know that that sounds silly but armpits on your corners is like, stop it. It's my nemesis. I can't stand an armpit. So I try to get it off as much as I can. Okay. Now I've got some sweet stuff going on here. I'm gonna catch my corners. I got most of the paint off. And I hope that it dries good because it has been so humid here. I can't even tell you how humid it's been. It's like you go outside and it's like soup. Which, you know what? Nobody wants to walk in soup. I don't want to walk in soup. I don't want to work in soup either, which is what I've been doing lately. Okay, so I'm going to turn this this way because when I bring you down for the close-up, I want you to see how I think it needs to be hung. Okay. I want you to see it from 
my view. I want you to see what I'm seeing. Okay, so we're gonna torch this. So it helps cells pop out. Man, y'all, that grayish blue, it is so pretty. <clears throat> okay, torching done. All right, let me come get you so you can see what I got. I'm gonna bring you around this way so you can see. She's pretty, huh? That's the old one. That's my last video. All right, this is today's video. Let's take a peek. I got some sweet boulder cells. I mean, look at them. They're like everywhere. We got some nice action going on here. I'm going up the right side of the canvas. And coming up here, I don't really consider this an armpit because there's a lot of activity going on. But then I'm going along the top because you know I like to bring you into the center at the end. And these cells, they're amazing. Look at that grayish blue. It's awesome. Look at that funky cell. It's like, hello. Okay, that's the bottom. And then this is the center. Look at what I'm looking at. It's awesome, right? I'm digging it. All right, y'all. This is for baby Ace. I'll zoom out a little bit. I hope y'all have a wonderful day. And I hope to see y'all soon. And welcome to the world, little baby. All right, bye.